Hello everyone, welcome to Mojo for Industry Presents Digital Dialogue on how to choose the right thermal cutting process for plate cutting, exploring oxyfuel, plasma and laser technologies. Sponsored by Mesa Cutting Systems India. I am Subjit Roy, your host for this session and I am delighted to have you all here with us today. In today's dynamic industrial landscape, the ability to select the most suitable thermal cutting process for plate cutting is crucial for achieving optimal results. Today we will unravel the complexities and equip you with the knowledge needed to make informed decisions. Top industry experts Mr. Durai Samira Vichandran, AGM Product Management and Mr. Sanjay Sarkar, DGM Cutting Process for North Indian Market of Mesa Cutting Systems India will delve into the three primary thermal cutting methods. Those are oxyfuel, plasma and laser cutting, providing insights into their respective advantages, limitations and applications in plate cutting. We will also discuss on the benefits of bevel cutting. So to start with, I will invite Mr. Sanjay Sarkar. He will talk on how to choose the right thermal cutting process for plate cutting, exploring oxyfuel, plasma and laser technology. So, as far as the cutting, metal cutting is concerned, we are a pioneer in Messer as such is a pioneer in metal cutting industry. We have around 127 years of experience. So, we will elaborate basically on the application part of uh, where to use, how to use and what to choose as far as the cutting process is concerned. To start with the oxyfuel process, as you know, it's a combustion process using oxygen and a fuel gas, which can be LPG, acetylene, Bharat metal cutting gas uh, that are being widely used or maybe CNG to certain extent being used or LNG is being used for fuel gas. Oxidizing the metal to liquid iron oxide and blowing it out. The advantages is we can cut uh, mild steel with this and the thickness can go up to 300 mm of cutting. It's a simple, slow process, but an economical process. Plasma, as you know, is a uh, is a fourth state of matter uh, besides um, the other states of matter like solid, liquid, and gas. What we do is the electric current is passed through a uh, gas through a constricted opening, and the temperature of the gas and the current that separates the material. The productivity is high compared to the oxyfuel, but has some limitations as well, which we'll uh, go through in the next slides. Laser, as the name suggests, is light amplification by stimulated emission of uh, radiation. We'll come to the process in the in our next slides. Oxyfuel cutting, as I said, it can cut up to 300 mm thickness, mild steel. But the uh, when it comes to the thickness to diameter ratio, it is 1 is to 2. For plasma cutting, we can go fairly up to 150-160 mm and the hole to hole uh, thickness to uh, diameter ratio is 1 is to 1. That is the best that is possible with plasma cutting. And this 1 is to 1 thickness is to diameter is from 6 to 25 mm in case of wire steel only. As you can see the left process, the oxyfuel process, it is doing the heating process is on. The plate is getting heated. Plasma has already cut one hole. And the laser is uh, trying to strike the R, which shows all the three processes shows that plasma is the fastest as far as 12 mm thickness is concerned. Certain disadvantages of plasma, like it gives uh, some amount of taper, even though the process is fast and the curve is higher compared to uh, the laser process. But of course, the curve is lower compared to the oxyfuel process. So the total time taken is 14 to 16 minutes. The curve losses of plasma, as I said, is higher than laser. So it is 2.2 mm, the losses. And the cutting cost comes to around 1680 rupees per hour. The same application, if you cut with laser, the complete cutting can be done because the holes are also done with the same laser process. So there is a single process being used, no marking, no drilling. So that process is eliminated, which is done with plasma. Total time taken is 6 minutes, whereas it is 14 to 16 minutes. Curve losses is 0 0.08 mm, which is very less comparable to this 2.2 mm material loss. Of course, uh, laser doesn't generate so much of fumes as plasma, and the cutting cost is 580 rupees per hour. So, it's for you to uh, choose which process to select. 
The same thing when you have low volume or a bis uh, how much business volume or a high volume, you can choose between oxyfil, plasma and laser and the y-axis is the thickness uh, to choose from thin to thick. So for thin, you have laser for 25 to 50 mm plasma and thicker, you have oxyfil. Thank you very much. So uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Sanjay Swarka for sharing insights into choosing the optimal thermal cutting process, oxyfil, plasma or laser cutting technologies. So you all might be aware of the concept of bevel cutting. So now I will invite Mr. Ravi Chandran to briefly touch on what bevel cutting entails and list the multitude of benefits that bevel cutting offers. So, so why you need bevel? It's like uh, any uh, thick material you cut and you take it for fabrication. Uh, you straight away start preparing the edges for welding. So for better finish, for better weld strength, for faster weld welding application and this is more needed when the thickness is higher than half an inch or so. If you can see my mouse everywhere in the butt welding joint or in the lap welding joint or in the uh, edge welding or in the T joints also and in the corner joints also there are a lot of options where you can uh, what you can say you prepare the uh, edge for welding and when you prepare the edge Unless otherwise you do it in a very precise manner, your weld preparation is not prima. It will not solve the purpose. So the normal way of uh, having a bevel done is traditionally you cut uh, a plate, then immediately you can't do a bevel cutting. So what happens is after you cut, you have an intermediate storage and then you take up the material and start cutting and doing the bevel cutting. So hap what happens is you like uh, involve a lot of manpower and a lot of space for that and an additional work center also. A bevel uh, preparation or an edge preparation is done. When comparing that with a bevel cutting, nearly 30% higher productivity is assured. So laser is the latest technology which is coming up and beveling is also getting popular. So in Oxyfield, we have the manual to the automatic three torch cutting uh, daffle and plasma also we have the manual to uh, automize which you can uh, change the bevel on the fly like so you start at 10 degrees and then you end up at 45 degrees also so those type of uh, well uh, developed bevel solutions are available to us and also in the lace on the laser also when you have traditionally you have uh, a vertical cutting, then you again have another operation for bevel cutting. But with the bevel tools, you have one setup. Your output is done with one single operation. Your uh, uh, cost is reduced by 30%. Your productivity is increased by 30%. It's like increase in productivity, process cost is reduced, manpower is reduced. And apart from that, space is reduced because you are getting the cutting done in the primary machine itself. You don't have a secondary uh, workstation and no, you don't have a separate uh, storage also. Uh, from last year, uh, more people have started uh, using these tools because these have become uh, affordable. The plasma machines, oxyfil plasma machines, out of which these bevel tools are all available with the HD plasma. With plasma beveling, people who are uh, supplying to railways, yellow goods, PEB, shipyards, and boilers, they all use plasma beveling and laser. Again, the same type of people, but uh, where they need higher accuracy. And with oxyfuel, boiler pressure vessels, and wind wheel applications, they are using our uh, bevel tools. Nearly 40% of the plates which are being cut by plasma and laser, a thickness for a thickness of about 12 mm, they need. Uh, age preparation for further uh, welding operation. Yeah, so uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Uh, Duresame Ravi Chandran, for helping us to understand the most significant advantages of bevel cutting and explaining how one can double your productivity with bevel cutting. Thank you once again, Mr. Uh, Duresame Ravi Chandran and Mr. Sanjay Sarkar for your time and participation. With that, we conclude today's session. 
we hope you have enjoyed this episode of mojo for industry presents digital dialogue on how to choose the right thermal cutting process for plate cutting sponsored by mesal cutting systems india hello viewers i'm neha wagle if you liked watching this video don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us so you never miss any of the latest industrial news from around the country and the world Stay connected with us and keep watching Mojo for Industry for all the latest updates.